Hey guys, uh, Rob here from the Off Grid Tiny House. Um, trying out my safety idea for the candle, the 80 hour candle from the Dollar Tree. So I have the candle in the center here, and it's actually floating, as you can see. I didn't expect that, but I guess um, there must be some air or something giving it buoyancy. But anyway, as it burn, as the candle will burn, you can see the level of the wax. As it burns down, it'll actually go under the water, um, and hopefully it, the buoyancy goes down as well because there'll be less. Um, I don't know the uh, scientific term for that, but hopefully the buoyancy goes down. This is just an experiment I'm doing. So the water level is about here. It's just peeking above the top of this glass container. So we'll see how long it takes and what it looks like when it reaches down here. It's about it's floating about an inch off the bottom. Um, and I'll be interested to see if it how how much heat is produced in the water that surrounds it as well. Um, so this was kind of my experiment safety. Um, for long term burning with a candle like that. Um, if you're away or you can't keep your eye on it all the time, um, it's best to put them out. But this thing's throwing off quite a bit of light too. And when it gets below the water level, I'm sure it's going to throw even more. So that's another cool little tip. I want to just, I'll, I'll do an update video once it gets down, guys, and I'll let you know and see how long the candle actually burns for as well. The guy on YouTube that I watched tested these bad boys out, and it was a full 80 hours, so for a buck 25, you really can't beat that candle. It's not um, a honey one or whatever, but I'm sure it's got parabens. But if you're in a pinch, guys, better than nothing. And yeah, she's throwing a lot of heat. It is kind of a rainy, crappy day anyway, so a little bit of heat's okay. Look at the light that thing's throwing. That's pretty insane. So, yeah, this will be a good test for me for a while. Um, also, um, was experimenting with... I'll move the candle over back a bit carefully. And I will show you. Um, I remember the tin I picked up, guys. Um, inside, right now, um, I'll open it up. And about, it fills about half of the tin. It's my multi-tool. I was just seeing what exactly, what items can fit in here. And go on, and so on and so forth. And I'll show you, um... I'm either going to put a bunch of stuff in here as a survival kit or have a use it as a char cloth uh, device. But I've been working on a, another idea for the survival stove, guys. And have two plates. I made a baby baby model here. And um, so what? how it works is there's no uh, pieces. Like it's just the four pieces now. Okay, and everything slides into one another. Um, I don't have my tripod right now, so I'll set this up so you guys can get a good look. So I got the three in. Oh, this one is not quite level or in. Here, adjust it a bit. Let me put the last piece in. And uh, that will stiffen everything right up. So that's what it looks like. And it's it's solid. What do you guys think? Is that going to be this, the new idea for the survival stove? Whoops. Let me get that other side in. It didn't seem to go in properly. this one out, make sure they're all in. Okay, that's better. So they're all in now. 
um, let me know what you think about that I do have to punch holes in obviously and make the bigger size but I guess you could use this baby one throw some twigs in I don't know if it would generate enough heat with the amount of fuel you put in to cook anything so I would rather build the bigger one go from there so that eliminates the wire and the um, other parts so that's what my thoughts are it almost fits in my tin if the tin was square and the corners weren't rounded off that little survival stove would actually fit in there and I didn't plan that at all which is crazy it's like well wow, okay um I've been using my light here quite a bit as well the LED from the dollar store um just as a backlight uh, when the sun goes down when I got the TV on in front and that is a backlight just to uh, see over here um and then we're gonna do some updates on this guy um so far so good I'll poke my finger in the water no it's still cool so we'll do uh, some updates guys and we'll see how well this works